Hello and welcome to my latest video. In my first two videos on this subject, I explored the new iOS 13 function that allows you to attach external storage to an iPhone. We looked at an Amazon Kindle and an iOmega Zip Drive. There are links below in the description to those two videos. Now everybody has been emailing me and commenting that they'd like to see a floppy drive attached to the iPhone. So that's what we're going to look at today. So I went out and bought a cheap $12 USB floppy drive from Amazon. It's called Rayu and it works perfectly fine on my Mac and I've got here a uh, standard 1.4 megabyte floppy disk DOS formatted. So let's put it in and we'll see what happens. Yes, absolutely nothing happens at all. It doesn't even start to fire up. I mean, absolutely nothing. And we have power here in the USB um, camera adapter. We have a lightning cord plugged in there, so that's not it. It just, it doesn't work. So let's come back and look at that again in a minute. Now what I have here is an Amation Super Disk Drive. Now, if you're not familiar with this, this was a competitor to the Zip Disks. It came out about three years after Zip arrived. It never really caught on because Zip had kind of established itself as the super floppy format. But this did have a couple of advantages over Zip drives, and we'll take a look at them. This is a LS120 disk, so these super floppies held 120 megabytes, which is about 20 more than the Zip drive did initially. And as you can see, it almost looks exactly like a floppy disk. It's got a little different door on it, a little different design, but it's pretty much the same dimensions as a floppy disk. So let's take a look and see if this works. Now I have formatted this in Apple's new APFS file system because uh, it works fine on my Mac. And I'm probably the first person on the planet to format an LS120 disk into APFS, but uh, I just thought I'd do that for grins. So let's plug this in and see what happens. And there it is. Mounted the LS120 disk in the APFS file system that's uh, new from Apple and the iPhone can recognize that. So let's see how writing something to it goes. We'll just go into a folder I have here locally. We'll select a couple of PDF files and copy them to the LS120. That's it. So we go back to the LS120. There are the two PDF files. And we can access them no problem. Now, like the zip drive, there's no eject button here. So we have to do the same thing we did on the zip drive to get the disk out. So in this case, um, this is powered externally. So we will kill the power here. We will plug the power back in and hold down the eject button and get the LS120 disk out. Now, here comes the cool part. The other advantage these had over zip drives is that they could also use the traditional floppy disks because they were the same size. The, 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 the um, cartridge was the same size, the housing of it. So let's see if this, if we have any better luck using a traditional floppy disk in the super disk drive. And just to be extra retro, I'm going to use a double-sided 720K PC disc from the 80s. So let's see what happens when we put that disc in. And there it is. And there's a file on there, and we can, of course, delete that file. We can go into some files on my phone, might be a couple small pictures here, 
and we'll put them on the 720K disc. Not the fastest thing in the world, but it should be finished here in a second. to the 720k floppy disk and there are the two files. So we can attach a floppy disk to an iPhone if you have the right drive. Now I don't think you necessarily have to have the super disk to do this. I think if you go back to the late 90s or early 2000s and get a USB floppy disk it might work. I think they were better produced back then maybe a little over engineered I, I'm guessing they would probably work. Maybe some of my viewers can test that, but some of the people that have watched my other videos confirmed with me that these newer $12 type drives that you can get all over the place now, they just don't work on the iPhone with iOS 13 beta. They work fine on a Mac and a PC, they just don't work on the iPhone. I think they've just been stripped down to the bare minimum and there's something missing there. But um, you can attach even a double-sided 720K floppy drive to an iPhone, which I think is pretty cool. So please like and subscribe. I'm going to do a few more videos in this series. And um, as always, take care for now. Bye.